Welcome to the Blue Cafe, we bring you stories of faith, love, and devotion. Yeah, just kidding, please help us grow by hitting that like button. Now on to the story. Fiancé cheated and broke it off, kinda? Advice. Original, my fiancé, 25F, and I, 26M, have been going through a bit of a rough patch after an infidelity event on her part a few months back. Been in couples therapy since, and making progress. We've been together almost six years and engaged for more than one. We started hanging out in a group of five every weekend, and we all became good friends. My fiancé and one guy in the group seemed to be getting a bit closer but nothing seemed too off and we were all friends. Lots of events happened this past week that were rough and my suspicions kept getting raised about the two of them. Sparing the details, this afternoon, my fiancé said she loved me but that she needed a break in our relationship so that we could focus on ourselves and come back stronger. Lots of heartbreak but lots of hope. Then she said she was going out with friends and wouldn't specify who. I checked a device she left at home, I had very good reason to not trust her, but I know I shouldn't have snooped, and found the messages between them and she's been fully cheating on me for the past week. She's trying to build a new life with him, already talking about meeting parents and doing holidays and stuff. When she was asking for the break, I asked her if this had anything to do with that guy and she sincerely said no. She's currently on a date with him and planning to stay the night at his house. She also told him that she broke up with me for him. For the first five years of our relationship, she showed no sign of wavering or faltering. We were super solid and loving. But it's all fallen apart now and I don't know what to do. I love her so much but also know now that she's not going to give me what I need or deserve. I don't really know how to move on. We live together. We have pets together, and we have lots of mutual friends. I'm just feeling so, so lost about how to proceed. She doesn't know yet that I'm aware of her infidelity. How would you proceed with the process of confronting her and untangling our lives? I really don't want to lose our pets. Update, so I confronted her yesterday morning and officially broke it off. She was initially very combative and avoidant when I was just trying to start a conversation, but when I sent all the accusations of what she'd done, she was just silent. She then tried to gaslight me a bit, but I sent her a couple screenshots that shut that down. I decided to do all of this in a way that's true to me. I am not interested in spite or revenge, even though I'm within my rights. I don't want to fight fire with fire but want to continue to show how I'd want to be treated. I've thanked her parents for being good to me, most people who were friends with both of us know by now because I told them, some of her friends know, but only because I was throwing a surprise party for her and had to call it off. We're on the lease together and still have 10 months left, and we have a number of belongings that we went in together that we'll have to sort out. But we're going to have a conversation to sort out that stuff and the cats. I have a place lined up and I'm going to move in a week. I still feel awful and want a relationship with her. But the her that I want back doesn't exist anymore, and I've accepted that, as hard as it is. I also have an individual therapist I've been seeing, and she's been helpful through all of this turbulence. Thanks to everyone for your advice and for validating my anger and sadness. Don't marry a cheater. Marriage is hard enough with a loyal spouse. I know and I won't. The relationship has to be over. I was just really looking forward to spending my life with her and now that it's gone I feel so empty. Post a couple of the messages on social and put both of them on blast, collision. I'm really angry but I don't wish her harm. I'll gladly tell any of my friends though. She casually ducking around with her, lover, AP and you think no harm for her, she wasted your so many years. At least she have to face some consequences, for her actions, expose her royally, cool face. Bro you don't even know how many times or with how many guys, she already ducked behind your back, she is very good in hiding, 
because she didn't even care about you, fiancé soon to get married, she didn't even value the relationship, and she doesn't even respect you, she wanted more and now she get what she wanted, that's why she throw away all the six years longs relationship, within few days. Okay little update. I am definitely not in a relationship with her anymore, and while I want to be in one, I want to be in a relationship with who I thought she was, not who she's turned out to be. While I haven't talked to her yet, she's not here, I've made that decision already. The logistics are a bit of a nightmare. We jointly signed another year on our lease like two months ago. Also both cats were gotten during the relationship. Additionally, our apartment is cluttered and packing mine or her stuff is going to take a long time and I don't have anywhere to bring it. Working on those logistics right now. I have documented the texts. It has actually only been a week, and we only met this guy a little over a month ago. I can pinpoint in the texts where things started turning and where they took a definitive turn, and what I'd define as the emotional cheating only started last Saturday, instigated by her. Additionally, none of our mutual friends know, and the friend group is a small one. I'm conflicted on how to approach what I do with the evidence. I don't want to drag this out, I don't want to ruin her life, even though she's totally ruined mine, and I don't want to be vilified. I'm not comfortable with publicly putting out there on social media that she cheated on me, but I'm getting a lot of advice to tell all friends and family. That sounds awful and like I'd be viewed as petty, and I'm also not into revenge at all. But I'll mull my options. I think she wanted to end things amicably, and I did too if they were gonna end, but you can't really amicably lie and cheat, can you? This ducking sucks so much. I just reread your original post. I think you need to take stronger action. She lied about the guy when you confronted her. Also lied to him about breaking up with you. That is evil. That goes beyond just lying. Hopefully you have someone close to consult with to navigate things quickly. And yes you qualify to pack as much as you can and drop them at his house while she is spending the night. Why do people feel so guilty about snooping? You are engaged, spending money and signing contracts on her word. She went over the top on suspicious behavior, all bets are off. The guy is not free from C either but his reward is he gets his cutie by. Extreme sarcasm, look you owe it to yourself and your future self to come up with a slam the door moment first before she gives you whatever lame story she decides on. I live with regret having groveled, I had two kids and did not know she had cheated years before. She had not cheated yet, second time but did shortly after I moved out to give her space and she got pregnant, hid that and rushed the divorce. And hid that too. I so wish when the stupid behavior came and was told I want a divorce, I wish I had got the bags out that moment and said I will help you pack. At the very least show indifference. Do not be a nice guy or angry, indifference and a strong backbone about getting what you want and need. Example if you do not agree on the lease issues do not threaten just sue her, that will give you upper hand in negotiations. Concerning cats, that is not a discussion. You have chosen to leave the cats and have not chosen to go anywhere. Both cats stay together with me. Remember possession is nine tenths the law. None of this fair stuff what she is doing is not fair to you or them. Op, if she lied to you so easily, what makes you think she won't lie about you? Be prepared for her to play this as your fault and protect yourself. Let all of your mutual friend group know what she did. If they are okay with her behavior then you know you need to ditch that friend group. Then completely end the relationship with her and back her stuff and tell her to get out. Z. WTF do you mean how to proceed? You do not have a choice. Good lord. You obviously haven't learned how much women consciously and subconsciously hate weakness in men. Right now she thinks you are a scrub to be walked on and your friend is her knight in shining armor. Get real. We hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please help us grow, hit that like button. Have a good day or night. Wherever you are, 